The hot and hazy update in Grounded added the ability to upgrade our characters using Milk Molars and Mega Milk Molars. As of this recording, there are 29 Milk Molars and 22 Mega Milk Molars. There are currently not enough of either to upgrade all the stats. That means you'll have to choose whether to equally level the stats or focus on a few over the others. In this video, I'll be giving my recommendations on what stats to focus on upgrading first via both types of molars. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications to never miss any future videos. Let's get started. So before we begin, if you're not familiar with what milk molars are or where to find them, I have a video on that that tells you where to find all of them as well as how to use them. I will leave a link for that down in the description below and on the end card at the end of this video. But assuming you know how to do the, find those and what they, where they are, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to Burgle. He's going to have this menu down here that says pump me up with some milk molars. You're going to click on that and you're going to see that you have the option to use the milk molars for these five things and the mega milk molars for these. The milk molars are the white white vitamin shaped tooth teeth and they have a blue thing inside of them that looks like raw science but it's blue. Mega milk molars will have a gold vitamin shaped tooth and the thing inside of them that looks like raw science is gold. The milk molars are individual, the mega milk molars are group. That means that when you find them, when you find the milk molars if it's multiplayer, other people that join in, if anybody's found them, everybody will get access to them and these are individual choices. The group, everyone also get access to them, but the first person that comes over and uses them, this will apply to everybody. So these are a shared upgrade and these are individual upgrades. So on the milk molar side, what you're gonna have choice between is increasing your max health, increasing your max stamina, reducing your thirst burn rate, reducing your hunger burn rate, and increase your max active mutations. So on the hot and hazy update, they reduced the default number of mutations from three down to two. Now, as you can see, I've already upgraded this one time. So this is the only one I've upgraded here. On the mega milk molar front, you can increase Max consumable stack size, max resource stack size, and max error stack size. I currently use the resource stack size and the consumable stack size. These started off at 5 and 10, so it's 5, 10, 20. Now, these are less than I think they were before. So basically what they've done was, after getting the upgrade, you end up having bigger stack sizes than before. I think the max here is, I think it goes 15, 20, 15, 25, and then 35, or maybe it's 20, 25, 35, something like that. And anyway, over here, so... Let's talk about these first. Now, I think the obvious choice here for most people, at least if you're familiar with the game, is going to be to increase your max active mutations because they're going to have the most impact on the game. And this is the first thing that I would upgrade. I would recommend saving your milk molars until you can fully upgrade your mutations because having five mutations instead of three is just phenomenal. It just gives you extra abilities. Like you can basically always have one meat shield or you can always have one buff lungs or you can always have one math mithridatism or you can always have one coup de grass and then you'll have options to mix and match the other slots to your liking. So that's the one I would 100% recommend saving for and upgrading first before you touch any of these others. Now the other four are going to be probably personal preference but for me my choice is always going to be to increase stamina first. The reason for that is even using spider armor even having maximum stamina using buff lungs I always end up burning through stamina really quickly. Now using the spider armor since it's been changed has made it a lot easier and I've gotten better with using stamina, but me personally, I would prefer to have my stamina maxed out. So after I upgraded the mutations, I would definitely start working on stamina. Now on my solo survival world, what I did was I, I think I accidentally upgraded one of these other ones. So I couldn't actually get the max stamina. So right now I'm at four stamina out of five. And then after that, I think I did thirst burn rate and hunger burn rate one each, I think something like that. Or maybe I did each one of them one each after that. So anyway, I would do mutations first, stamina second, and then probably what I would recommend would be to probably do these three equally. Although I kind of it, it really depends on what you want to do. These two are definitely my one and two. The other three, I don't really have a preference on them. I honestly don't have much trouble staying alive. I'm playing on medium right now. If you're playing on low mode, it might make sense to increase your max health earlier because the insects are just going to do way more damage to you and it's going to be much easier to end up dying. So this might make sense if you're playing on low mode. On mild or medium, I would say to just hold off on this one. Thirst and burn rate, again, they would they do drain pretty quickly on low mode. But on medium, I haven't really had much trouble. Once you, after you get past the first couple of days in game, you're just going to end up having enough food and probably get a canteen or have a dew collector set up. Or you can just know where all the water and juice is and just fill yourself up pretty frequently. So you don't really need these. So I'd basically say do mutations first, stamina second, and then probably do these equal after that. Moving on to the Mega Milk Molars, the choice here is really going to come down to how do you play the game. If you prefer to use bows, increasing your max arrow stack size would make sense, in my opinion, because it's going to end up giving you a total of 35, so you'll be able to carry far more arrows. 
If you're not that big on bows or ranged attacks, or you use them sometimes but not all the time, I'd probably recommend upgrading these two before. And what I ended up doing in my solo survival world was I ended up upgrading them all equally until I got to the point where I only had, I think, one choice left, and I ended up going with max resource stack size first. So I think I have these at four, five, and four in terms of upgrades. I think that's what I did. We'll take a look at that in just a second. The reason I did this is because this affects far more things. There's only arrows. I mean, you can carry more than one type of arrow, but typically you're probably not going to do that. At least I don't. So this is probably only going to affect one type of resource in my backpack. Consumables, how many pieces of food do you really need to carry? The only time this would make like really impact things is if you're carrying algae or acorn bits or mushrooms. But to be honest, after a couple in-game days, I don't really usually rely on those for eating. So of course, if you're storing them in your chest, that would make sense. But to me, the max resource stack size is the most important because this affects everything else in the game that's not consumable. This is all your bug parts. This is everything you're using for crafting, such as sap, berry chunks, web, web fiber, all those things, uh, plant fiber, crude rope, silk rope, all the things you're using to craft things that you can't actually consume or eat is going to affect this. So I would definitely recommend upgrading this one probably first if you're going to focus on one of them and then doing the other two equally. Now, the way I did it was I just did them equally all the way through because I felt like that was the best way. And then when I got to the end, I ended up using, I ended up maxing this out. So let's real quick go take a look at my other world and I will show you what I have on there just to show you what I've done. So here's my solo survival world that I started with the new update. And this is the this is how I use my molars. Like I said, I maxed out my max mutations first. I then started doing stamina. What ended up happening was I think I might have put one in each one of these or something, or maybe in health, by ac either on purpose or by accident. And then I couldn't end up maxing out my stamina. So currently there's enough milk molars as of this recording. You can max out this, and you can max out one other of these categories if you choose to. I ended up not having enough because I only had four left over. So what I ended up doing was just spreading it. So I have one here, one here, and one here. As you can see, the max stamina you can get is 55. I believe max health is also going to be 55. And as you can see here, the first one of these burn rates went from 100 down to 80. Now it's only going down to 70. I don't know what it actually max out at. If this is 70, I guess this might be 60, 55, 50. I bet it goes down to like 50 or something like that. And then over here on this side, oh, I didn't actually max them out. I only have enough for three. So right now there's only enough to do three, four, and three. So I have three here, four here, and three here. Those are my recommendations on which stats to upgrade first. I think the extra mutation slots was an obvious choice, and for me, stamina was an easy second. If you are better at managing your stamina, choosing one or more of the others might make sense. As for stack sizes, if you focus on bows, then arrow stack size could be the most important, but for me, I level them equally first, just to reduce storage space for all items. Let me know which upgrades you think are most important in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button, and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.